Hi YouTube, James here once again, and I'm here today to talk to you about one of our favorite budget phones right now. Personally, this is my favorite budget phone, the Moto G4. Now this is brand new on the market. You'll be able to buy it right now if you live in the UK. It costs 169 pounds if you're in the UK. In the US, that's around $240, but we don't know if it's coming to the United States yet. In terms of other budget phones on the market right now, there's the OnePlus X, which costs a little bit more. That's 199 pounds. We really like that phone but that has a five inch 1080p display while this phone has a 5.5 inch 1080p display. If you want something a little bit bigger, this is a much better choice. In terms of day-to-day -day performance, we found the Moto G4 is actually a better phone than the OnePlus X. Benchmarkings as well have found that this is a much faster phone. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 processor. That's not high-end processor that you find in say the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, but it's still a really, really good processor. Now the camera on the Moto G isn't anything groundbreaking. You're not gonna get the best smartphone shot from this phone. It has a 30 megapixel camera on the rear and it's improved on last year. You're gonna get a better photo than if you have a Moto G3, but it's also kind of comparative to the OnePlus X. You're not gonna get a fantastic image, but it's still good for this price. Now in terms of battery, it's kind of a similar affair there too. This isn't anything great. It's gonna give you a solid day of usage. You're gonna be reasonably happy with this. It's not gonna be thrilling. There's no fast charging features or wireless charging, but it's gonna do the job. Now, if you like the design of the Moto G3, you're probably gonna like the design of the Moto G4. This is a much thinner phone. It looks much better in the hand. There's a different texture on the back, which we quite like, but it's not really thrilling. It's not gonna look like a flagship phone and no one's gonna stop you in the street and ask you what phone you have. However, the Moto G4 is light, it's slim. You're not gonna be embarrassed to have this in your hands and you might really like it. It all comes down to personal taste. One feature I've really missed from the Moto G4 is NFC. Now, a few years ago, this wouldn't have really mattered. It was just for connecting to Bluetooth speakers, that kind of thing. But mobile payments is now a much bigger deal. Android Pay is now in the UK and the US, so you can't use Android Pay on a Moto G. But if you're not bothered about mobile payments, this isn't really gonna affect you. Now, this video has been really brief. If you need to know anything else about the Moto G, put it in the comments below and I'll come in and tell you what I think. If you wanna know benchmarking details, if you wanna see a versus, be sure to let us know and we'll see if we can do it. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you again soon.